Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in India. One in 28 Indian women are expected to get breast cancer during their lifetime. Every 4 minutes a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer and every 13 minutes a woman in India dies of breast cancer. It is a cancer which starts in the tissue of the breast or the armpit. Though commonly seen in women, men can also develop breast cancer. The symptoms of breast cancer are commonly a lump in the breast or the armpit, redness of the skin over the breast, change in size or shape or appearance of the breast, bleeding from the nipple, inversion of the nipple and an itchy, scaly or sore rash on the nipple. The common causes of breast cancer are Breast cancer risk increases with age. 5 to 10 percent risk is there in families where multiple members are affected. Nulli parity, that is women who do not give birth to children or who are unmarried, who have never given birth, have a higher risk of breast cancer. Mothers who don't breastfeed at a higher risk of breast cancer. Early menarche, late menopause, and use of hormonal pills is associated with breast cancer. For other breast cancers, apart from these factors, the other reasons are not known. Cancer is basically divided into non-invasive or invasive types. The common invasive breast cancers are ductal carcinoma, lobular carcinoma and other types include Paget's disease of the breast and inflammatory breast cancer. Diagnosis of breast cancer is with a biopsy. Screening is a test to detect cancer early. Women are encouraged for self-breast examination and clinical breast examination that is to visit a doctor in the clinic and get their breasts checked after 40 years. Mammogram is a test which is recommended for screening. Once the disease is diagnosed, to know the spread of the disease, chest x-ray or ultrasound of the abdomen or CT scan of the chest abdomen, bone scan, PET scan or an MRI may be suggested by your doctor. Mammogram is advised to be done yearly after 45 years in all women to detect early breast cancer. Genetic predisposition is seen in 5-10% to of patients, those who have a strong family history, those who have male breast cancer in a subset called a triple negative breast cancer, women having both breast and ovarian cancer and the same woman who develops breast cancer on both the sides. In such people, a blood test for a gene called BRCA1 and BRCA2 is advised to know the family risk. Cancer is diagnosed with a biopsy. A biopsy is a needle test which is either done from the breast or the armpit lymph nodes which are called axillary lymph nodes or from other sites where the disease has spread. On the biopsy, we test for estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor and HER2 which is called ERPR HER2. The test typically takes two to three days to come and this is crucial for planning the appropriate treatment. Stages of breast cancer are from stage 1 to 4 with 4 being metastatic in which the disease spreads to other parts of the body. The common areas where the disease spreads is the brain, bone, lung and liver. What are the treatment options? The treatment options include chemotherapy, immunotherapy, hormonal therapy, targeted therapy, radiotherapy and surgery. Chemotherapy is a treatment in which drugs are given and they act on all cells of the body including the cancer cell. They can be given orally or the chemotherapy can also be given intravenously. Immunotherapy is a newer form of treatment in which medicines are given to boost one's immunity to destroy the cancer cell. Hormonal therapy is given in hormone positive or ERPR positive breast cancer. Targeted therapy is given in HER2 positive breast cancer. Surgery 
can be either complete removal of the breast or breast conservation surgery depending on the patient and the surgeon's preferences. The survival in breast cancer is very good. Disease which is confined to the breast, the survivals are more than 95%. In disease which spread to the armpits, the survival is more than 85-90%. And even in stage 4 disease, the 5-year survival is 30% and more. The newer developments in breast cancer research include CDK4 inhibitors. The names of the drugs are palbocyclib, ribocyclib. These are used in stage 4 cancers commonly in hormone positive HER2 negative breast cancer. So in this group of patients, patients can avoid chemotherapy. They are put on oral medications and the outcomes are excellent. In HER2 positive breast cancer, we use medicines like trastuzumab, pertuzumab and TDM1 which are called targeted therapy. These medicines have no side effects like chemotherapy. Immunotherapy is being increasingly used in breast cancer, especially in triple negative breast cancer. Breast cancer is highly curable and treatable. Do regular self breast examination. Undergo mammogram screening every year after the age of 45 years. If you find out any suspicious breast lump, report to your doctor immediately. The cure rates of this cancer, if detected early, are excellent.